What's up guys, it's your Saw Guy Tony and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be virtually going over one of my favorite curating shops in Korea, which is Obscura. They basically deal with any high quality minimal garment and they do offer worldwide shipping. Other than the fact that they offer like really high quality garment, I wanted to introduce this because like think about the job of a curating shop. It's basically to curate everything that's like fitting within the style. So just by looking at the brands that they're offering, you're going to expand your eyes. Oh, without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously when I shop, I always start with the sales section. So let's go to the sales section. Because like how I always think about it is that even if you have a lot of money to spend, there's always going to be like a time where you can't really buy something because of money. And I think starting with the sales section is like a really good habit. So let's see what they offer. The brand Shinya Kozuka, which is at the very top, this brand is like a Japanese kind of minimal kind of avant-garde. Like they do make some like super obscure or like avant-garde pieces, but mostly they are minimal. So these two, they're meant for like super cold winter. I'm not going to look at that. So these, if you're looking for like minimal single jackets, Kuro is also another Japanese brand that deal with like a lot of minimal stuff. These are pretty good, but at the same time, it's super hot in Korea right now. Like I'm sweating, it's so hot. So I'm not going to look at that. And something like this, I really want to get it, but they seem to not have my size. So let's check it out. But if you are within the size, I, I really recommend this. It's around like 600 US dollars, so it is a bit pricey, but if you're looking for this type of jacket, I really recommend it. Kuro is a brand that you can trust with their quality because I've had their products and they're pretty good. Within the ones that I've seen right now, this is the only product that's kind of worth like the $600 margin because this is around like $450. I wish they had like conversion in USD, but they don't offer it. So I'll have to do it in my head. But this is around $400. And if you're looking for like wide pants, you can easily get it way below like 400 US dollars because yeah, this is like, there's nothing special. It's just wide pants and caps. I wouldn't pay like $60. So when you're looking at Korean conversion rate, to put it simple, you just have to take out the take out the thousand. So this would be like around 71 US dollars. This is actually pretty good. I really like their design. It kind of reminds me of the Margella blazer that I reviewed. So Youth is a brand that Obscura made. And if you think of like Nependus, they they are a curating shop and they also have their own brands. It's the same concept. So they do offer high quality. I have youth product and they're pretty good. Like they are high quality. They do offer like really good material. And if you look at the price range, it's around $270. It's not that bad for a blazer. Let's check it out. Let's see what the sizes are and let's see the details. Yeah, it, it basically reminds me of the Margiela blazer. So two flat pockets in the front and cutting at the back. And I like the profile that Youth offers. So Youth, if you look at their design, they offer really like loose fit minimal garments. So definitely check them out. It's hard to get in US or Canada, but it's something that you can look for. Like maybe Essence might have it. Their quality is pretty good. And if you consider the price range, it is a bit expensive. Like, like not a lot of brands offer this. And if this was like a Japanese designer brand, it would be like around $400. And then these ones, oh, I actually want this. Hmm. These ones are pretty good because these are slit, I mean, straight slit pants. And when you're wearing like normal straight pants, like you don't have the slit. Let me see if I can go in. Oh, so you can actually. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually close and open this, which is great. Like that's really functional because like if you wear straight pants and like this profile itself is really great. However, once you open it, that's like another detail. Please dog, please. That's that's another detail. So this looks pretty good for its price. Let me see if they have my size. Yeah, of course, of course, small is sold out. So youth, it's pretty famous in Korea. So a lot of their products are going to be sold out if they're on sale. And if it's something like this, where it's really versatile and the profile is great and you actually have the opportunity to close and open. So it's like basically two pants that's going to be sold out instantly. And even the material is 98% wool for like $160. That's a really good deal. I, I really recommend it. If, if you wear a large size, I really recommend it. And then going to the next ones, these are just normal, nothing special, youth, youth, youth. Yeah, so everything else on the sales section is... Oh, I remember seeing these ones online. Would I pay 75? No. Like, the reason why I say I wouldn't pay $75 is not because their quality is bad. Their quality is pretty amazing, but 
if you wait for sale season, like if you go to Halt Renfrew, if you go to like Essence, if you go to Farfetch or Matches Fashion or any any of the large retailers, you can probably get something better for seventy five dollars plus. And you also have to account for shipping fee. And there's gonna be like unless you have a Korean card, the Visa is gonna charge you like three percent more. So. Yeah, that's another thing. If you're looking for this type of blazer, I remember Koss had it and their price range is about the same. I think Koss is actually cheaper. So I would recommend that. Not that Youth is like worse quality than Koss, but like you can find Koss really easily. Let's check this one out. This one. So one of the biggest trends that I see right now is having these two large pockets. I mean, four large pockets, like the big pocket shirts or big pocket blazers, whatever. Like. They're just putting the big pockets and how it all started it as far as I know is from the fishing community because like fishers, they have a lot of these and, and it provides a pretty unique look within the minimal style. However, it's not that unique anymore because if you see Instagram, basically everyone's got the big pockets. So personally, I like the design, but because everyone's wearing it, I'm not a big fan of it. And what I just realized is that they don't have product on shots like Oh, it's only this one. So the other ones, they, they do wear it, but this one, I, I couldn't see it. And I'm like, why is there no one wearing it? So yeah, that's, oh, okay. So that was the sales section and let's look at different brands. Like I said, the job of curating shop is basically collecting the brands that have the same feel. So if you saw youth and you're like, oh, like that's a minimal feel that I want you're basically going to want to look at almost every single brand that's on here. And Brown Yard is another Korean brand that's pretty popular in the minimal community. So let's check it out. Yeah, like, so this is like $35. So, so it's not that expensive. If you're looking to shop from Obscura, what I would say is that you're looking at around to spend like 700 or 600 USD because the shipping fee is pretty expensive. And the products are pretty pricey. So unless you're about to spend that much on minimal garment, it's not really worth. However, if you're looking to spend that much, it's like somewhere I would definitely check out. So going back to Brown Yard, they're a minimal Korean brand and I haven't received their products, but I, from what I've heard, their quality is pretty good and $35, like what can you complain about? And that's another thing. Like if you, so this $35 in Korean currency is, pretty expensive. Like Koreans would usually spend around 10 to $20 for t-shirts. Within the Korean community, this is kind of like a pricier one. So their material is good and they do offer like pretty good quality. However, if you go to US, like $35 for a t-shirt is not that expensive. So that's where the strong currency benefit comes in, where you get to pay like less for something that's good in the other countries. So yeah, if you look at like Korean $35 quality, I would say it's around like $50 USD quality or maybe even more. So so these t-shirts, they're, they're a bit minimal. You can see the shoulder lines dropping here. So yeah, if you want like oversized t-shirt and you're looking to buy something else in this shop, definitely go for it. But if you're just looking to buy these, I wouldn't recommend it because the shipping fee is gonna be the same as the product itself. Convertible shirts. I've heard their shirts are pretty decent, but I wouldn't pay $100 for shirts because you can easily find the same feel, like same linen feel. I, I'm pretty sure this is linen. You can find the same feel. Let's see. Oh, it's Supima Cotton. So their, qual their cotton quality is pretty good. I take that back. You probably can't really find the same quality of cotton. Mm. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. However, what I spend hundred dollars no one thing that's good that i noticed right away is that their button color is like the exact same as the shirt itself and this is something a lot of brands miss is like the button i mean the shirt is like beige but then the buttons are black and it just looks dumb it looks like eyes like eyes on shirts like i don't like that and then going to blazers blazers like personally if i were to visit their shop i might go for blazers but if you're shopping online, I don't really recommend blazers for a high price unless you know that brand specifically because blazers, like there's so many little things that can change the entire mood. Like, like from the model shot, it might feel a bit loose, but when you wear it, it might be actually tight. And like, there's so many factors that go into it. So I personally don't recommend buying blazers online unless you know that brand really well. And then these pants look pretty decent. And I know Brown Yard is like, pretty famous for pants like they're one of their best sellers are pants a lot of the low quality or like the cheap pants like they don't 
produce this relaxed feel. Honestly, if you find like any of these products like super appealing for you, I I would never say don't buy it because their quality is proven like within all Korean minimalist community. If you've seen my last video and I was raving about like Dries Van to making these like parkas that are like kind of like coat like parka coats and that's what i'm seeing right now with the korean minimal designer brands like these are considered designer brands in korea because in korea like you wouldn't spend 400 dollars for a parka like that's pretty expensive from korean i guess like currency right so let's see this one this one actually looks really nice let's see if they have yeah obviously they don't have my size but let's see for the big ones so if you're a pretty big person, uh, oh wow, you can actually take it off. That's amazing. What the heck? Hmm, that's actually, this, I don't recommend it, but that's actually really versatile and nice. If you're, if you have, if you wanted something like this, and I'm pretty sure not a lot of people thought of like parka coats. If you were looking for something like this for next season, I definitely recommend it. However, summer just started, so it's gonna be a far long journey. So let's go to the next ones. So basically this is what Obscura is for. Minimal minimal garments that are made in Korea and Japan. That's, that's what they focus on. And a lot of their products, I mean like almost 99% of their products, they're proven to be nice by Korean minimal community. I guess like when it comes to curating shops, Koreans are really picky. So you can't really put like shitty stuff on your curating shop. And Enigma, I believe is another brand that Obscura offers. It's like their own made brand with they're also minimal. Like these, these seem to be not that minimal, but that's just an exception. Like if you look at these ones, like their bombers are pretty nice. Their bombers, I really like their loose fit and like how it flows and these ones, I haven't seen them on pictures, but they, they seem pretty nice. If I were to recommend like one product, it would be Bombers from Enigma. I mean, if I were to recommend one product from Enigma, it would be the Bombers. Oh, this is actually nice. I, I actually want some vests because in my closet, all I have is like t-shirts and long sleeves and outers. I don't have vests, like I don't have the middleware to layer. And that's kind of what differentiates a lot of like super nice outfit versus like nice outfits. A lot of it comes from like the middle wear, like accessories and what you wear in the middle, like vest or like hats, shoes, a lot of that. So this vest actually looks pretty nice, but it's kind of too expensive. $150 for that vest. Hmm. I can probably get something similar from other shops that are like $50. It's, it's probably not worth that price. You might also be shocked because if you look at my channel, I review and buy a lot of designer stuff, but how I shop is like, I'm really picky. Like even if it's a designer product, like I'll get the lowest price. And if the price doesn't make sense in my head, I would never buy it. Like it, it's just my philosophy of purchasing stuff because no matter how, how much, I mean, no matter which season, I'm always out of money. Like I always need more money. So the cheaper I can buy, the more I can buy. For Enigma, if you're looking for it, I would buy the, uh, what's it called? The Bombers. Gonna have one fish snack that my mom cooked. I haven't had my mom food for like six years. This is like, I mean, not six years. I lived alone in Canada for six years, but I visit Korea once in a while and this is one of those times. And Maynard, this is like super nice brand. So one of the things about Obscura or like any curating shops in Korea, if you can find it on Essence, it might actually be cheaper. So don't just buy from them because like sometimes it's just cheaper to buy from Essence. Let's see if I can find the same product. So trousers, their trousers are really nice. So let's see if I can price compare their trousers. 63, so that's 600, around $600. Oh, wow. It's actually cheaper here. Yeah, definitely buy from here because it's cheaper. It's a different model, but like you get the point. It's around the same price or cheaper. Wow, Ed Maynard, like their products are amazing. It's just too expensive, but like, look at this. It's like $1,500, but it looks amazing. I, oh, I wish I, I wish I'm rich enough to buy these. It's like fully made of linen, I think. Yeah, 100% linen. And then the inside has viscose and cotton and Yo, it's just, it just looks too good. Like you can't, you can't skip these. Like, look at that, 
Look at that loose detail on the sleeve. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah, Ed Maynard makes me want to spend more money, so let's go away for that. And I'm going to review a lot of these curating shops because in Korea we have a lot. And like one of the famous ones are like Obscura, 8th Division, I Am Shop, and all of those I'll be doing a review. And once I visit their shop, I'll definitely check out Effector and do a review on it if I can, if I'm able to record there. And yeah, in terms of minimal, I mean, I can go on and review everything, but I just wanted to show what they offer and like the, basically the feel of what Obscura offers. And those brands were, I guess, like the staples of Obscura. Whatever other brands you find here, they're basically going to be similar. So for example, if I look at Ordinary Fits, this is another famous brand for minimal stuff. Yeah, like basically the same, like they don't have much detail and their price range is about the same. So if you're looking for things that are super minimal with super high quality and you want to try out like Korean brands, a lot of these are either Korean or Japanese brands. So if you want to try those, make sure you're willing to spend around like 600 to 700 dollars and then start shopping because if you're not willing to spend that much everything you see is going to be like oh this looks amazing but it's too expensive so if you start with the mindset of like i'm going to spend 600 dollars you get to pick like two or three products and i honestly think it's worth it as long as you know what you're looking for have another fish snack easy to wear let's see if it's easy to wear these are not easy to wear. Oh, but this one's pretty nice. I don't know how the audio is going to sound while I'm eating, but I wanted to show the natural self of me. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm home alone. I'm just like looking at brands, looking at what they offer. And, and then I'm delivering it to you guys. Oh, these are watch brands. I didn't even know they existed, but nothing that I'm interested in. As I mentioned, Kuro is a Japanese brand. They're, they're pretty nice. Like I, oh, they're all on sale, but it's because it's winter stuff. And even on Essence, Kuro goes on sale like really often. I mean, every season. I, I really like that. I really like the jacket that they offer. Northworks. Oh, I needed accessories. I'm definitely gonna check these out. Because right now I'm in two week quarantine and it hasn't been over, but tonight is the last night. So after this, I'm going to go out and like look at different brands. And yeah, I really need accessories. I really, really need it. When it comes to minimal outfits, I think accessories are like what differentiates people. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for Obscure, Obscura. And yeah, in my next video, I'll probably be coming back with another curating shop, probably I am shop or eighth division. So if you want to check them out beforehand, definitely check it out. But if you want to wait for my video, I'll be preparing it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.